Hi everybody, it's Caitlin here. This is going to be a video of me doing our first drawing prompt for our 22 fantasy inspired prompts for the year 2022. So here you can tell I'm starting to draw a sun. Our first word of the prompt list was awakening and what that inspired to me was this sunrise scene where you are waking up in the morning on a beautiful beach to a beautiful sunrise and you just get to kind of soak it all in all of the goodness and happiness and blissfulness that comes with awakening i thought this was really interesting because my co-partner of the fey trove mackenzie um, when she heard the word awakening, she thought of like a spiritual awakening. So her drawing ended up being uh, inspired by chakras. And I just thought it was really cool how, you know, we both hear one word but can have completely different meanings uh, that come to mind for us. And just so everybody is aware, I'm sure you could probably tell by now but i am by no means a pro at procreate thankfully i have had mackenzie around to give me some tips and tricks you will see later on in this video i start using this mode called alpha lock and that was completely new to me mackenzie had taught me how to use alpha lock so i thought that was pretty cool so i am really looking forward to being able to compare my first prompt and my final prompt because we do have 22 prompts. I'm hoping that by the end we can see some improvement. But for the time being, I am just going to be making my art as best as possible and putting it out there for other people to see and maybe be inspired by. You know, you don't have to make perfect art. Um, in order to be allowed to put it on the internet. So I really hope maybe this can get to the right person. And if you are the right person, feel free to join our drawing prompt. We have no rules or regulations. If you are not a digital artist, you can do pen and paper, ink, paint, any type of medium that you choose. Um, just please make sure to tag us in your art so that we can see what you guys are doing. We are the Faye Trove across all platforms. We have the same handle, so wherever you decide to post your art, just please make sure to tag us because that's probably the most fun, you know, beyond making the art ourselves is getting to be inspired by you guys. So here there's really not much going on in the video. I think I was having some struggles, as you can see right there with operating the platform. But hey, that is okay. All good things come in time. I also wanted to put it out there that if anybody stumbles across this video and has any recommendations of, you know, maybe some tutorials or videos that they found were helpful for their Procreate, progress if you could recommend those maybe down in the comment section or maybe tag us in the videos i would appreciate it so much so here i am adding in some leaves and some trees i really had this idea come to mind of a jungle setting where you're out in the wild you know living amongst nature and having this grand awakening so this is kind of my idyllic morning if i could you know ever go live in the jungle which i do acknowledge could be pretty dangerous especially for somebody like me who has food allergies but hey a girl can dream Although it is unfortunate that I do have to keep my EpiPen close, I have always been very interested in homesteading and one of my greatest goals in life is to be able to have my own self-sustaining food forest and I would love to do that somewhere in the tropics, in the jungle, Oh my goodness, I forgot about this part. So this is really funny because I cannot draw people um, even more than I cannot draw in general. So you might have caught there that I started with a black and white stick figure and then went over with this body shape here for the woman. 
Now, I wasn't trying to be profane or anything by drawing her nude, but I did just think that it would capture this sense of freeness that I find myself wishing for in my daily life. But I can't lie, I did giggle a little bit when I had to draw the uh, shapeliness of the behind, you know, that, that got a good cackle out of me. <laughs> Oh, and here I am adding some fluff. I was thinking some wildlife would spice things up a little bit, so I put a shark in the water. Um, that's okay because I am not good at swimming anyways. And then um, I will go on to put a little crab on the land too, which I just thought was so cute. You know, while we're on the topic of not being able to swim, let me tell you something really funny. So I grew up with a pool in my backyard and it was a relatively deep pool, uh, probably like five, six feet in the middle. And we have a local swimming pool that I was enrolled in swimming classes in for the majority of my childhood. And I was once a pretty efficient swimmer. But then around the age of 14, I started taking gymnastics classes and I gained a lot of muscle mass and found swimming became very difficult, even for somebody who was so athletic. Um, just staying afloat became even more of a struggle than it was when I was younger. And so now I'm 24 and um, I keep saying, um, I'm so sorry to everybody listening. T take a shot every time I've said, um, I promise I'll be better. But anyway, now I have a vacation coming up soon to go to the ocean for the first time. And I'm absolutely terrified of drowning. So much so that I will be purchasing floaties ahead of time and making sure that I don't go anywhere past where I can touch the bottom. But no need to worry, my boyfriend is coming along on the trip with me and he is a very strong swimmer. Actually, he was the captain of his swim team his freshman year in high school. He likes to remind me. So I know that if I go down, uh, he will come to my rescue. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in me possibly vlogging some of my trip to the Outer Banks and sharing that in a short video for you guys to kind of see a recap of my vacation. If enough people want to see something like that, I think I could try to put it together. Uh, it may be more difficult than voicing over a drawing like this, but I am looking to grow my skills when it comes to video making, vlogging, art, and just improving myself as a whole. So. Yeah, let me know. So here I was struggling, trying to make my crab not look like a spider, but he definitely ends up looking like a spider. So I'm sorry to all my crab enthusiasts. This is probably super bad anatomy. Uh, at first I wasn't even gonna give him pinchers. And then I was like, why does he look like an orange spider? Oh yeah, crabs have pinchers, but I have no clue how many legs they have. So apologies to anybody who is triggered by my horrible looking spider crab. Next, I'm going in and just kind of fanning out the background. I was looking for a sunrise type of look. I did try out a blue background, but it just totally messed up the whole thing. So I just wanted to fade a little bit of orange in there just to give it more of a sunset hue. And here I am building the sand back in, just making the, sure the orange looks okay behind it. Um, I will take that ridiculous face off the sun. I decided to not go with that uh, because I wasn't trying to be profane or make any jokes about this awakening prompt because I do think, oh God, <laughs> I am sorry. I'm just so immature. I need to grow up. <laughs> Anywho, what am I doing here? Oh, Mackenzie told me I should put some reflection from the sun on the leaves. So I am just messing around with my charcoals and that is it. And you are allowed to laugh as long as you make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Etsy, and we'll see you in the next one.